hello 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 so this weekend is mother's day very aware of that i'm very aware that some people don't have mammies to celebrate with i'm also very aware that some mammies are very far away from their daughters and their sons and their family and they're not going to get time to celebrate so sunday i'm going to go live on the your connective collective to do um facial and head massage technique that you can do at home because i know it can be quite a stressful time hi nisha um it can be quite a stressful time for people i know it's really stressful anyway at the best of times but i'm going to go live on the your connective collective to do facial and head massage and hopefully be able to follow along and just re recalibrate and get ready for the week ahead um i've from today, uh, I was only going to do the free virtual consultations with people up until the end of today, but I've decided to extend it for a week or so. It's part of my new business model, so I'm offering it for free for the next week. Um, hopefully you can avail of it. We'll go through your makeup bag, see what works for you, uh, see what doesn't work for you. I can give you recommendations on products that you can buy that's suitable for your skin type, your skin tone, your skin colour and teach you how to do quick and easy routines in the time frame. So I'm allocating everybody half an hour slot. Um, if you want to avail of it, let me know and I'll set up a Calendly and we can either do it by FaceTime, WhatsApp video or Zoom, whatever suits you best. And we'll go through all, whatever it is that you want to know in order to get you ready and set up a routine that has you looking good and feeling good every day from head to toe and inside out and we can have a little chat as well so i started yesterday and i had a beautiful lady on from tipperary and we got ready together uh, in that morning and i was on the, the previous evening with another lady i have another lady booked in later on today and um yeah i just want to help people to look good and feel good and if that's doing their makeup or doing their skincare or learning how to brush the hair a certain way to cover up the greys or what products that are out there that you can cover up the greys carefully because a friend of mine rang me yesterday and she used and she probably won't mind me telling you she used a box dye from the shops and she woke up this morning her head was sore she felt like she had the flu her head was itchy stingy burning and she had to go on zoom from 11 o'clock for a really intensive day and she just wasn't feeling well and the whole point of that was that she didn't patch test so if you're going to use a home dye on your hair you need to patch test 24 to 48 hours before using it just to make sure that you're not allergic to it um, and it, if you put a, a little dot behind your ear, mix a little bit up and, and put it behind your ear or in the um, the crease of your elbow, put it there and sleep on it. And if you wake up the next day and there's any irritation to the skin, do not put it on your head because it is very dangerous to put it on your head. Um, and if in this girl's case, she has an intolerance to it, but she wasn't fully allergic. She was able to take an antihistamine and feel good. Uh, within a couple of hours however it could go really wrong the next time so if you have an intolerance to an at-home hair kit now and you you have a reaction like that that your head stings burns a little bit lumps and um, the next time you use it could be a very different um situation altogether and you might end up in A&E so um don't use a product if you haven't patch tested it <clears throat> okay Suzanne uh hair dye point i'm using two boxes of the same dye do i need to patch test with both no it's it's generally the actual maker so in this case it was a, a really highly um well-known brand and um, this particular girl is, is just intolerant to that brand so i know myself there's certain brands that i would itch like even in the hairdressers if they put it on me i can feel my head itching and i would take a, a hairbrush or a comb and just itch my head and at the end it would be fine it might feel a little bit stingy but other ones uh, i would get lumps and bumps and that's the brands that i stay away from and I know what they are now at this stage. Um, I would be very sensitive skin and I would have allergies. I have hay fever and stuff like that. So generally people that have pre-existing allergies like hay fever, like asthma, um, they would all be highly sensitive to the chemicals. It's called PPD 
in the hair dyes so you really need to be very careful um so yeah if you are using the same hair dye um from the same brand once you patch test with one that that one box you'll be fine um and do it 24 to 48 hours prior to uh tinting your hair and um, the other thing i'll say is if say for instance see the way the bottom of my hair is blonde but this part here is brown don't bring it down through the mid lengths and ends just put it on the and cover the grays so if the grays for instance are only that that much only put the hair color to that section don't come any further than that and um so i would normally generally part my hair from back to front and ear to ear and do that root section first and then start taking each section by section and doing like an inch at a time or just covering the greys with it and then I don't bring it down through the mid lengths and ends unless they need to be freshened up so for instance with uses on your hair is quite dark if the bottom half is really dark and the top half is lighter don't bring it down through the mid lengths and ends because what will happen is the bottom half will go even darker so just do the do the roots and if you need to um just freshen up the ends bring it down through the mid length and ends only for the last five minutes um i know yesterday's news about the hairdressers not being open and up for a while it was quite disconcerting for me and a lot of other people and um they are going to be running out to buy the box dyes from the shops so just patch test first it's very important um yeah and i am going to be doing live head and facial massage on sunday in celebration of mother's day i hope you're all looking forward to it it is a day to relax and recoup and just spend some time with your family and if you don't have family find a nice furry animal that you can hug or go for a long walk or again if you need to talk to anybody there are resources and uh, places out there that you can get in touch if you need to talk to anybody and again i'm here if anybody wants to reach out to me i will help you in any way that i can and um yeah i'm starting from the inside out and head to toe so we'll start with the skin and if it goes to the heart we can do that as well so let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you want me to cover next week is going to be a big week lauren's back to school so i'm going to have so much more time on my hands well so they say so when she goes back to school i will pl i plan on doing a whole lot more lives because we live in an apartment so it's very hard to get away from each other um so when she's at school and he's in his bedroom working away i will be doing more lives so if you want to let me know in the comments below what it is you want to know and i'll create the content for you and i'll see you i'll be back on tomorrow at some stage i'm sure but have a fabulous weekend anyway bye